This is the weapon of choice when it comes to tier 8 tank that can outplay its opponents like no other ones in the game. So, what is it? The CDC Chasseur de Char AMX, uh, which is just such an amazing tank. And as you guys have requested, you want to know how to outplay others. And this is the weapon for, for a guy that wants to outplay others. Outplay other players is what the CDC does, and it is the only way which this tank will thrive out of any other playstyles. This is hard, but also spectacular, as we're gonna observe in this game. From the start, 1375 goes out, shoots me, he only damaged my tracks. This happens rarely. This you do not expect to bounce anything. This, you expect every single RT in the game to shoot you. But when it comes to climbing, there just simply aren't, there, there just aren't another tank that's, that can outdo it in a climb at tier 8 as a premium tank. Especially compared to Super Version Panther 88, this is the best buy of all, in my opinion. Now I have a video on it, uh, about the AMX CDC review. Uh, this one will be dedicated on how to outplay your opponent, so you do not rush enemies head to head, you just don't do it. Use terrain, this is what it is designed for, look at the shape of this thing, it is just a beauty no other country produced other than friend, uh, France. Now France does design a few weird designs like AMX-40, but this Chasseau de Char it's, it's quite epic if you look at it for a long time. First time I saw it, I was like, what the hell is this? But now the more I look at it, the more uh, better it seems. The gun is ultra responsive. This is what you want. It is the weapon of choice when it comes to long range, medium range, and short range. Because it has all the features you'll need. First of all, long range. Accurate as hell and medium range aim time pretty awesome you don't have to fully aim and you can still expect to hit close range this gun can rip its opponents apart with the raw fast rapid firing gun it has but do not forget that you have no armor this tank is not easy to play at all and this is why I never really aim fully you don't stay in the open you get spotted, and soon RT will shell on you. Now I did hit up Aus Clarence's Panther there by mistake. Uh, I feel quite sorry for him. Uh, it was a poor shot on the circumstances. So you can see that we're gonna lose every single side pretty much, except this hill. So as you can see that this tank has 10 degrees of gun depression, I believe, and this is just where this tank works the, the best. Although it cannot bounce anything, this can outplay its opponents and if you do it right, you won't get hit at all. That is the dream of any tank in the game. Do not get hit. Don't even use your arm. That is what you should be doing. So he HE'd me up I think. I think that was a HE. But we're just gonna pick him apart. Now, the GW took a shot at us, I think. He backs up. I don't quite get the, the snapshot on him. Or maybe a bounce, don't know. And, okay, we don't get it. Now, the IS-6 is what this tank doesn't do well against. Because IS-6 will pen you every single time. And if IS-6 had any brain, he would be firing high explosive. And now, this is just awkward or quick position. RD can hit me, can get focused out easily, but I need to pick up more kills to win this. It, it seems like it, this is the lose. Not, not when you're driving a CDC. Look at the accuracy there. Ultra responsive gun. Now this tank, you do not take it up close unless you have to. This is all about flanking, outplaying opponents, using bushes using concealment, doing shots like that, you never stay in the same spot for a long time. And this shall be the way you play this. Now look at the 
the, the scoreboard four against one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So four against eight. So they got double all numbers. And CBC is all about relocating, outplaying. And as you can see, the T37 being a fool cannot even kill two RD. But nevertheless, we're getting capped. And now the Chasseau de Char can vomit around the battlefield. And this is where the difference between a good pair uh, and a noob happens. Now this is how I don't recommend you to play this if you don't have 2k win 8 or at least 1500 win 8. Because this becomes so difficult, you can easily make mistakes and get yourself killed. So I decide that not to get the cap from the obvious spot. Um, of course I'm going to crest the, the ridge from another location. I'm telling farm farmer in the T-34 to go help me out here so we don't see the kappa instead of going directly there because we're in the CDC and trust me CDCs get there quickly and thanks to our Lorraine RT he took out both enemy RT swiftly and quickly and there's our spot there look at the view range on this tank I have ca ca cafe so kind of spots in way before and that just proves the CDC's ability to pick off opponents at range so I don't recommend you to go for close range unless you have to, but the gun will work. The only problem is your health points. So where are they? And okay, there's the lava. I don't know why he did. Our replay had a bug in there. Um, he wasn't shot, so for some reason until I shot him. But uh, I did obviously see him there. So now farm is being a noob. So we had we need to rescue him, of course. But before that, a T37 will even penny. But it's all about dodging your opponent. And of course making it hard, harder for him to shoot you. And you now can pretty easily outplay people like ISs. Look at the gun. Look at the gun depression. Here. He cannot do anything to us. We will eat him up any day of the week. Kinda juke the shot there. Didn't pen here. And somehow Farmer didn't pen his ass. There, look. So come on, just finish him off, but he doesn't pen him, so now I end up taking one off my arse. And this could be a game loser. But luckily, this AMX 50 100 makes a pretty big mistake. He is statistically a good player, so somehow he, I don't believe he actually made a mistake on this. And there goes the kill. Six kills. And now we're not done. One more team on 50. And there you go, it's seven kills, 4k damage. This is the CDC. Not a single round of premium needed. This is clinical, and I believe that this tank would be the best tank in the game if you you just enjoy outplaying people. There's no other premium tank like that in like like this in the game. This just sums it up really in this gameplay. Why you want to play this? This is not easy to play by far, but when it does work, when you can get it to work. This, I have to say, is possibly the best RT. I mean, not best RT, best medium in game in some circumstances. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, today I t talked it in a different way. The commentary is slightly different from usual. Uh, give me feedbacks in the comments below. I'll try to improve, obviously, uh, according to you, you guys' uh, comments. And uh, I'll be on holiday, so. Uh, you won't see my video for a while then um, but anyways um, good luck on the battlefield and we'll see you later